Where are you, Rock Eastwood? Well, I'm in Japan. riding my Cannondale bad boy today and I'm heading to Yokohama Sakaricho on the Kamakura Kaido so I'm in Yokohama but I'm going towards the main part of Yokohama which is around Chinatown and Sakaricho yes there's a Chinatown in Japan I know shocking so let's take a cruise on this busy street here on Yokohama, Japan and head towards Yokohama. no straight lines when you're in Japan you get in where you fit in sometimes you got to hop on the sidewalk but you try to stay on the street as much as possible Kanai section of Yokohama. shocking how quickly you lose your fitness levels I don't ride a bike in two or three weeks and I get tired quick too quick but it takes forever to build the stamina it's not fair so I'm in the old part of Kanai Yokohama now and I'm heading to the near the port and Sakaricho Sakaricho That was the Yoka that was the Yokohama skyline. Let's go check out the red brick warehouse. One of the oldest features in Yokohama, Japan. Coming up on it now. And then we'll circle back around to the main part of Yokohama Station, but I'll show you the Bay Bridge. And this behind me is Yokohama Red Brick Warehouse. It's been converted into a mall, but back in the day, it was something special. Not really, it was just a warehouse. 
but you got you can't ride your bike over here you gotta walk so i'm gonna get off up here and walk you through yamashita park yokohama second largest city in japan That lady had a monkey. What the fuck? <laughs> I think they had Oktoberfest here last weekend. That's what I heard from my friend John. That's probably what this is. They're, they're, there's all, they're always having happenings around here. And I don't know if you can see that cruise ship behind me. But when COVID started, this is where the Diamond Princess was parked. One of the first big outbreaks, over 700 people. So let's take a look at the Asuka. Asuka 2 cruise ship. Yeah, no bikes. I'm not supposed to be riding right here, so I'm gonna get off. I'm gonna get off. Yeah, the Diamond Princess during COVID, it was a huge deal. All the news organizations, outlets were here right here <laughs> which was crazy we didn't know at the time we didn't know we thought we were all gonna die lie all right let's check it out let's look at the asuka 2. I always like coming over here. I saw the band Slightly Stupid play over here once. That was a great, great day. Slightly Stupid. Do you know Slightly Stupid? Not me. The band Slightly Stupid. Yep. Let's go take a look around the rest of the Red Brick Warehouse area. As far as my bike goes, this is my Cannondale bad boy. It's a lefty. You know, it's got no... Well, if you ride bikes, you know what a lefty is. With that Terry B hotline. Matte black. With the Brook saddle. And that's what I ride when I'm in Japan. And that's what I'm riding right now. I do miss my Kona Rove. But uh, it's weird riding straight handlebars. It's been a while, <laughs> but it's cool, it's fun. So let's go cruise around a little more. Check out Yokohama. There's a Gundam or something over there. I don't know if you're interested in Gundam. I'm not really, to be honest, but um, I don't know. Let's go to Chinatown, perhaps. We're just cruising. I don't know where I'm going, just cruising around. It's been a while since I've been down here, but I have been coming down here for 25 years, if you can believe that. 25 years i could see the yokohama bay bridge but since i got the gopro you're not going to be able to see it but let's cruise around the rest of yokohama and see what we can see i want to get back on the bike i'm tired of walking it <laughs> so let's get back to the legal area to ride the bike time it is <laughs> this is yokohama cosmo world and the ramen museum is near here too just around the corner well if you're into rides and shit like that uh, these rides are mostly like for kids the famous giant yokohama ferris wheel which i'm not gonna lie i've been on it i've been on it but i've never been on like these roller coasters and stuff it's not my thing
World Porter's Mall behind me. This mall used to have a good camping store. Chumps, I think. But it's not there anymore. But there is a bike shop in there. In fact, I got this bike at Wise Road a couple years ago. Used. 2019 uh, uh, Cannondale Bad Boy. They got some decent prices. Decent, decent prices. And we're coming up on Yokohama's largest building. I remember when it was first built, it was like so cool. Now it's 25, 26 years old. I can actually see it from my house. Like up on the top of the hill, I can see that building behind me. And I can see Mount Fuji sometimes. I mean, all the time. If, I mean, if it's a clear day, I can see Mount Fuji on a clear day from my house. But you know what's crazy? I've been here three weeks and I haven't seen Mount Fuji yet. <laughs> but I'm gonna go to Mount Fuji this weekend, so I'm gonna see ya. I hope, if it's a clear day. I just love being down here. I do, I do. And this building in front of me that's shaped like a sailboat. I can remember when that was first built too. That's the Intercontinental Hotel. Adds to the skyline. It's not a very nice hotel, but they want to pretend they're luxury. How about we cruise to Chinatown? Hopefully things are open, it's a little early. But let's take a look. I'm now going into Motomachi which is a shopping area. And I think I'm on a one-way street, so let me fix myself. Lots of small, lots of small alleys. This place gets really crowded on the weekends. Same as Chinatown, where I'm trying to get to now. Uh, famous Yokohama shopping area. Motomachi. High-end junk. If you're into high-end junk. in the west end of Chinatown so let's take a ride through the streets of Yokohama Chinatown it's still a little early so everything might not be open yet but we can still get the vibe we can still get the feel usually everything opens at 11 I believe and now it's about oh it's almost 11 I, I'm not sure let's just cruise There's no way you'd be able to ride your bike down the street in the weekend. It's packed. Packed. Totally packed. Nut to butt. 
totally packed nut to butt, but it does seem like everything's open. Maybe I should get some dumplings or something. Hmm. I don't want to eat by myself. Chinatown. Let's go check out Yokohama Stadium. Yokohama Bay Stars, home of the Yokohama Bay Stars. As I said several times, I lived in Japan for, you know, 25, since 96, off and on. I cheered for the Bay Stars. I went to Bay Stars games. They never win jack shit. They're one of the worst teams in baseball. And then, this year, I find out they're actually in the, champ in the Central League Championship, which is crazy. I leave and they finally win. And they're playing the Giants right now. They played last night, but I don't know who won. I'm not sure who won. But I'd like to see the Bay Stars win a championship. I think the last time they won was 94. Around that time, right when I got here, and they had rows and you don't care about any of this but it's just funny to me that i leave and the bay stars become good <laughs> after my whole life in japan so I, I don't know any of their players i don't know anything about them i just know the manager mira <laughs> but anyway this is yokohama stadium i've seen several 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 baseball games here Babe Ruth actually played here, believe it or not. You care about history? Lou Gehrig? So that is a little tour of Yokohama. I hope you enjoyed it. This is my home. My forever home. But I will be back in Pennsylvania shortly. Let's wrap it up. Ah, I gotta piss so bad. Oh, Chico! Should I?